Well, it's obvious that the internet has become a very popular way to shop. I mean, you can do it at home on your computer and even on your phone anywhere you are. But will it ever be more popular than just driving to a store? Here to tell us about the trends is Tom McGee, President and CEO of the International Council of Shopping Centers. Good morning, Tom. Good morning. Thanks for having me on today. Well, it's great to have you on. So what can you tell us about the trends uh, for shopping, both online and in the stores? And how are they changing? Yeah, well, first of all, we expect a record holiday season this year. Uh, Americans will visit a shopping center 600 million times over the course of the month of December. And almost 115 million Americans will go shopping uh, this Super Saturday weekend as they complete the nearly 50% of shopping that's still left to be completed. Uh, clearly, there's been a lot of conversation around online versus physical retail, but I really think that's kind of an old story, to be honest with you. Uh, the statistics around online retailing really look at the percentage increase, which is still fairly small uh, in absolute numbers. 93% of all physical retail, all retail sales are done in a physical location. But I think the more important story really is one of convergence, uh, with the shopping center being the hub of the shopping experience. I'll give you one quick example. You know, a third of the folks that buy something online actually go and pick it up in a physical store, which speaks to the importance of physical retail. And then, in fact, 75% of them buy something else uh, when they're in the store. And so really, just like other parts of American life, technology has certainly been integrated and has become part of the shopping experience, but it is no way you know, threatening uh, physical retail. In fact, I think it's additive to the shopping experience and you're really seeing convergence taking place. Yeah, I agree with that. There's really something to be said about the convenience of being able to shop online and then having it be ready to pick up when you get to the store and then once you get there you have an opportunity, like you said, to buy a little bit more. Now, what are some things that retail and brick and mortar stores are doing to sort of draw customers in this holiday season? Yeah, I think, the, uh, I think what you're really seeing American consumers want is more experience in the shopping uh, experience. And so uh, certainly they want retail, they want to shop, but they also want dining options, they want theater, uh, they want service providers, and they want that convenience that can only happen in a shopping center. Uh, of course, the other, uh, I think, important part of the holiday spirit, uh, experience is, is really the, you know, just looking at decorations, window shopping, visiting Santa, et cetera, which really is an experience in of itself. Uh, and that clearly happens within uh, our shopping centers, which are uh, so fundamentally important to our communities. Right. And, you know, speaking of communities, actually, the fact that people visit brick and mortar stores, how does that impact the community and sort of, uh, you know, help sort of the, where you are locally? Yeah, you know, shopping centers are really an integral part of our economy and certainly a central part of communities across this country. You know, about 15 percent of U.S. GDP is generated from sales out of shopping centers. One out of every 11 American jobs is directly related to a shopping center. $141 billion of sales tax revenue is related to this industry, which obviously funds critical municipal services. Uh, in Arizona alone, uh, about $3.5 billion of sales tax revenue is generated uh, from shopping center sales. It has uh, employees over 250,000 people uh, in the state of Arizona. And those are just folks that are directly employed in a shopping center. That doesn't speak to those that have an indirect uh, employment because of, the, of, of shopping centers lo located in Arizona. Right. Tom, a lot of really important points, and it's, it's great to know that people are still going to the stores. I want to thank you so much for coming on today and, and talking to us about it. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, if people would like to learn more, please come visit our website, icsc.org. Click the News tab, and you can hear and read so much more around the impact that uh, shopping centers have upon local communities. Excellent. Tom, thank you so much again for coming on with us. Yeah, thank you. All right. Now stay where you are. The Morning Blend will be right back.